Welcome back and a very good Saturday morning. After lots of sunshine yesterday, today is going to be kind of the opposite as we're going to see those clouds and also some rain showers moving through. Here's a look outside of Lee Heights, and though things are staying pretty dry right now, but we are going to look to see some more rain moving through, especially over the next few hours. Dixon City is also staying pretty dry right now, but those temperatures a little bit on the chilly side right now into the mid 40s. Across most of the areas as well. Here's a look at radar. You can see we do have precipitation on radar right now, but it kind of looks overdone compared to what's actually falling there. It's just still pretty dry at this point. We have dew points into the 20s. Once those start to rise a little bit more, we'll start to see the air becoming a little bit more saturated, and we'll start to see some of these rain showers actually making it to the ground. But especially in those areas that have yellows and oranges is where I do think we are starting to see some rain moving through. And that's all thanks to this warm front that's going to continue to lift up towards our region. There's that area of high pressure which was in control yesterday. That's moving out to sea, and we're tracking this area of low pressure, kind of staying with us as we head into the weekend. So we're not quite done with the rain, especially for today. We'll be looking for some more tomorrow. But talk about a beautiful day yesterday. Deborah sent this in from Readers, Pennsylvania. You can see lots of sunshine here and also some spring flowers as well. If you have any weather photos that you'd like to send in, feel free to share them at weather at pahomepage.com. Temperatures right now generally into the 40s at 48 Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, 41. Good morning to you in Mount Pocono, 45 in Hazleton, also 44 currently in Pottsville. Now, temperature's really not going to budge too much as we head throughout the day. What we start with into the mid-40s, some of us will be reaching back up into the mid to upper 40s for our highs for today, which is right around our average for this time of year, which comes into the mid or lower 50s, right around 51. Here's a look at future cast. We'll continue to see those rain showers moving through, especially from this morning right around lunchtime, some of which could be on the heavier side at times. I do think we will see some breaks in the action until we start to see more rain moving through, especially for tonight, some of which may be on the heavier side at times this Models indicating we'll see some heavier rain, especially into the southern tier for overnight hours. We'll start to clear things out for tomorrow. We're still looking for some scattered showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder with some of those gustier showers. So don't be surprised if you hear that. But this is going to be more of an isolated, numer less numerous event, especially for the day on Sunday compared to what we're seeing for more widespread rain for today. Looking at the rain totals, though, we're going to look for anywhere from one to two inches when all said and done as we head into tomorrow. But once we get all this rain out for this weekend, we are going to start to slowly dry things out. Once we hit through Monday, we'll start to see some moisture moving off from the lakes, maybe providing us with an isolated shower or two. Otherwise, we'll keep the cloud cover around for the day on Monday. Here's a look at your eyewitness weather forecast for today. 48 for the high. We stayed overcast with periods of rain, like I mentioned, some of which could come down pretty moderate to heavy at times. And even heading into tonight, we'll have those periods of rain. And I do think we will have some rain showers that could be heavy once again, temperatures dropping into the mid 40s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Like I mentioned, we'll have some scattered rain showers as we head into the day on Sunday. Maybe even a rumble of thunder temperatures into the lower 60s. From Monday, we keep the cloud cover, maybe a shower or two. Highs are into the mid 50s. We'll have a brief area of high pressure moving in for the day on Tuesday, but I think we'll keep the cloud cover around once again. Highs are into the lower 50s, looking kind of unsettled for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with some rain chances. Temperatures right around average for this time of year. You can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to your phone or tablet to get interactive radar right into the palm of your hand. You can always find more by visiting PA homepage.com. So